Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Anita's tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a retrofitted uh, section, such as beam column, using steel jacketing or concrete jacketing. So here is an example. Uh, in the example, I assume we have an existing frame, a 2D frame, which has two bays, each bay has four meters, and it's two story, each story has four meters. So this is the existing column size, and this is the existing beam size. And then we will first we model this one and apply this load to see how this existing structure responds. So then later, we in the second model we retrofit that frame by adding the for the column a jacketing, uh, which is in the in the initial column is 30 centimeters so we will add 20 centimeters extra jacketing or concrete jacketing and the second uh, we will for the beam we will add a steel jacketing which is uh, a steel thickness of 2 centimeters or 20 millimeters so then we will apply the same load and then evaluate the response of body structure uh, so this is a tutorial one of uh, students asked me to provide uh, such tutorial so let's jump to the ETAP software to do this uh, tutorial so I have open two model and first I'm going to uh, model uh, using metric uh, with the same code so the code is not too much important because we're not going to design this structure but instead I want to show you by adding jacketing the structure response will be changed just we do analysis so the number of this time is uh, two span uh, so totally it required uh, three grids and in the y direction is no need just one is enough and the grid is four meters in the x and it is also not required so the number of studies two and each story has three meters height. I can uh, select grid only and okay. Now, in a first window, I'm going to uh, go to the elevation one and this one. And so the material in this, uh, we will use the same material for the existing and also for the retrofitting structure but mostly uh, in practical we use some uh, higher grid of concrete and also steel for the retrofitted section so first let me uh, define a, a new section uh, the existing structure section so we'll call add new property is a concrete rectangle i'm gonna click it this one uh, called column or c30 by 30 and the existing material is uh, a concrete 4000 psi so it will serve 300 by 300 and next uh, i can show the section properties just check how it looks like here is the properties and the next i'm going to modify the rebar so you can uh, provide rebar as much as you want uh, using this grid of the steel and the number of rebars, number of longitudinal rebars. So it's quite large. Let me uh, make it along the number of, this is number three and this is number uh, two. So I'm going to give two and it's going to be two. And just this, okay. And now you can see four rebar is added and as well as uh, we can change the uh, the number to number eight let's uh, get number eight so this is the first one is created the first column and the second is i'm going to add new property or i can uh, select this one this make a copy and a copy of this one and i can call it uh, b uh, 30 by 40 
beam 30 by 40 and this is the height which is 400 and here in the select its beam it's called beam now this is the cover uh, which is as a default is okay because we're not going to design this this is okay and the most of labor the program will determine for us so no okay and now we have created two beam column so it's okay I'm gonna go to and uh, modeling I can uh, use uh, this automatic mo uh, drawing or quick drawing but I should go to the plan and let's go to the T3 model 3 and here I should select all because we have three two stories so now this is beam so I'm gonna select beam because we have created beam so I'm selecting all so now the four beam is added Let's take an icon to back to here and select column that C30 by 30. Now the column is also added. If I switch the second windows and showing a uh, so this is the existing frame is uh, modeled. Now here I can come back to the elevation one and first of all let me add a fixed boundary condition assign join to stream and going to fix boundary condition in the second I want to apply some load so this is selecting the beam current assign and it's called frame gravity load distributed so I'm gonna give it as a dead load 10 kilo uh, Newton per meters and the second I'm gonna select this two node and I'm gonna assign uh, joint loot as a force it's also the dead loot and I'm gonna give 100 kN which already I mentioned here so it's okay and apply now the loading is completed so I'm not going to define anything else and now I can perform the analysis but it's required to save the model so I called uh, existing existing model and I run the analysis Now the analysis running. Uh, here is the first displacement, and I can uh, go in, in the two D here, and I want to define see the displacement in the first loop, and U X. You can see the contour how it work. Now here is the uh, displacement, which is caused from the uh, gravity loop. And we can see uh, this load is this displacement is in a ux which is 20.87 so I'm gonna uh, take here called uh, existing displacement is equal 20.25 mm and now I can do a copy of this model or I can do a save us save this model and I called from here issue fitting model so save it so the retro fitting model is now we're working on the retrofitting we already finished once and the second I'm going to back to define and I want to add uh, some uh, jacketing to the existing column beams so the first is this one a beam beam 
this two option is activated so I can automatically convert to the uh, section designer and I come here uh, this is uh, so the name in a, it's giving a, a, a concrete a concrete column design type is concrete column or we can using a, a composite column it doesn't matter because the program will determine which section is and now uh, I'm gonna select the uh, section designer here and you should remember how you uh, you should remember the size of this column so this is 30 and it's uh, 40 so for the sample city just I want to add a box around this column comes to here and here is the box I'm taking this zero zero point and the box will be automatically shown so now I can select this this one and right and the, select that and choose, uh, uh, press the right mouse and then you come to here the material change it to con st to steel uh, which is still you want I'm gonna using this steel and the ID is <coughs> automatically giving 700 but we want the height should be this one so 420 and so this is a, a, a box section so it's uh, this one should be 320 now the flying thickness is we want the flying thickness should be uh, 20 and it should be 20 now there is no reinforcement is required okay and the section or the composite section is created now I can say okay and automatically that will change to the so the same things so we're going to come back to the here again to the second in this time this time this is the column in previous was beam so there was uh, not uh, rebar now uh, we want the same things should apply here but this time instead of the material we want to uh, still we want to use concrete and I draw a box I call zero and now right click and it's the same concrete you also can add uh, more uh, some higher concrete because in the practical we use higher concrete now again this is 300 by 300 so we want to have 400 500 by 500 so the thickness is this is the thickness The thickness is equal 200 now you can see we have created a composite or jacketing beam as well so I'm gonna okay and okay so now other properties and uh, loading is completed so what we're gonna do is we rerun the model is starting to run now the analysis is completed uh, but before this let me uh, do a 3d uh, you can see the size of the column and beam is uh, changed you can see this is the composite or jacketing beam column and now I'm going to back to here go to elevation and re evaluate the total displacement in this point so I can come to here again with the same and here again apply now I can press here and it is 3.4 millimeters 
So significant changes made. Now I can call it uh, uh, R displacement is copy in. It is. So it is uh, 3.44 uh, 3.44 mm. So now like this you can uh, perform some pushover analysis or response spectrum analysis or time history analysis. And at the same time you also can consider, uh, see the moment and anything make some comparison but the most easy way that uh, I can I can show you how we can uh, model and analyze and even design this kind of structure this kind of complete columns is like this uh, so if there's further question please put in the comment and we'll find time to answer you see you next time